Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Talking Moments. My name is Talking Makenwa. This video this week is dedicated to those friends of ours, those special people in our lives that we cannot but appreciate this week. I'm appreciating those people who always have the tea eh those gossips that we have as friends and it's not a bad video guys like at the end of the day let's not pretend let's can we all remove our wig should i remove my wig and let's just break it down we all love a good gossip everybody likes gist anybody with talk saying no like gist not lie everybody likes a good tea that's what they call it sipping tea and there's certain people in our lives who always have the connect you know how in every group of friendships there's one girl who always knows everything aka fbi aka i'm a boy aka my roof is always you know attached to the ground those people who always have their ears in every single situation like i like people like that i'm sorry but i feel like if you don't have a friend who like your gisting partner then you, you guys are probably too serious in your friendship group like what do you put to in your friendship group you put pray you put talk about work you put talk about life and then i mean you must gossip right like it's only normal right like let's not even pretend you know i like a good tea as long as it's not malicious you know there is and that's the thing with people people just don't know how to draw the line there is like gist that is literally just like the streets be talking what the streets are saying and there is like information that has been passed around, passed around, passed around that is so diluted that everybody that is here in the gist knows that we're only hearing this gist with one eye open because we know that there's room for this gist not to be accurate. You know what I mean? There's also that information that is just for silliness. Do you understand? Like it's just, okay, this person's hair, the wig is like this, that is that. It's never that deep. Those are the kind of things that we're talking about this week because everybody does it. Everyone knows how we all have one special group on Instagram. Some people have groups. They are members of different covens, covens as I like to call it, where they are always, you know, sipping tea they share stories everybody would donate their own laugh it's healthy banter it's never really personal i mean i'm up for that i'm not about those people who you know basically just throw people online maybe like you know there's some comments that you read that's coming from a deep place that you'd be like who stole your cookie who offended you in life why are you so miserable? Why are you so sad? You know, there's a way that somebody will say something that you look at them and think it's not about the person that they're talking about anymore. It's about their own deep rooted issues. You know, those kind of situation whereby, you know, someone's talking about, let's say, for instance, oh, what has it that this person is dating again? You know, it's just gist, right? Oh, they're dating again. I'm happy for them. Who's the guy? Who's the guy? Is he a correct guy? What does he do? Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Oh, you know, did you see that picture? Oh, it was in the background. Did you not see that they were wearing the same shoe? How people paste things. I swear, I wish I had that energy because I'm always a slacker. Let me guys, let me tell you guys who I am. Eh? I'm the wrongest person to try and gossip with, especially in public because I don't really get the gist till like eight hours later. I suffer from delayed reaction. Somebody can say something now and I'll be like, huh? The moment when I'm driving home, the thing will just come to my mind. I'll be like, holy mother of Christ. Oh, was that what they were saying? So I'm really bad with gossip. Like I'm really bad with knowing who is sleeping with who, who is about to leave who, who is dating whose sister, who got pregnant for who. Like I don't, I can literally be in my house and not hear gist for months. Guys, it's, people think I'm pathetic because Every time they call me to confirm things, I think all my friends have even given up right now because if you are calling me to confirm this, you are wasting your time. Clearly, you're like me. You don't know what's up. You know, you think you're bubbling, but you're not bubbling. You are like dry. Do you understand? Because I know I'm dry. I'm the queen of dry. I don't know what's up. I can be sitting in a place and I'll be the last to hear that this couple broke up. And then, but why are people always rejoicing when they hear that people break up? I don't. Guys, this is a very, very important question. Why does it derive so much happiness when you hear stories of woes about other people? Like, I would never understand this. There's like healthy laughter. Ha 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 ha. I thought she was too good for him. I thought he was too good for her. Oh my God, they broke up. Oh, please, yeah. By all means, like those couples are, are just odd. There's that. And there's, she was a whole. Her mother is a witch. In their family, they do jazz. The guy was using her for ritual. And when they are going to say this gist, you think that they know these people. Have you ever been around someone who is giving gist that makes you have headache? You know, there's some kind of gist that you hear that you be like, but I know the person you're talking about. And then the way they swear on their life, they're like, this person, I bet you don't say that. We know, now we, we, 
We were there when you are always there when Nancy Gogoro, you are always there. Nobody's always there for you, but you're always there when everything is happening for somebody else's life. And the way they say that is when you now, you know how it's interesting when they start giving the gist, just be listening, not in your head, but you know this person, right? When you now say, eh, but that's not true, this person doesn't, you know, like, this person is not married, or this person, they're like, are you sure? No, because somebody told me, they now go from knowing to, Somebody told me, some of them will whip out their phone. Let me call my friend that knows this G's. Some people will be arguing over other people's matter. Have you seen that people will be sweating? It's like they are in like a ring. You know how they are arguing for hours? Arguing why Beyonce never smiles. Is she a robot? No, Jay-Z beats her. No, they don't think their love is real. I'm like, how do you tell that from a photo though? Or the ones that will see someone speak to her and say the person is unhappy because she's not smiling in a picture. Guys, seriously, one picture. One picture lets you know if someone's about to divorce their wife. One picture lets you know if this person has eaten in three days. One picture lets you know. Do you guys know that sometimes these things are controlled content? Do you know what I mean? Like it's amazing how we spend time arguing and passing on information that we can't ver verify or we don't want to verify. Is it laziness that makes you just not bother verifying? Or you like the thought of it being true so much that you just realize that Let's just throw the entire bath water, the baby, everything, just because we want it to be confirmed. Like, it's so funny the times we live in. These days, when I hear certain things, I'm always like, I take it with a pinch of salt because everything is make-believe. We live in a make-believe world. And while it's okay to have, like, let's not even lie to ourselves. We all like to gist. There's not a big deal to gist. I think where we need to draw the line is when gist now becomes very slanderous, when gist now becomes something that you don't want to be said about you, when gist now becomes something that you are being malicious. Because you see, when you're saying those things and people are laughing, you really think you're entertaining them, but everybody with a brain is looking at you and thinking, damn, I don't want to be on this person's wrong side, damn. You know, and I kind of always avoid people who are always hearing gist. They always know the blog that is hot. They always know the tea that was spilled. They always know who said what. And some people really base their lives off of information and things that they pick up on the internet. Are you a dummy? Hello? Anybody can say anything. These days, anybody with a cell phone, recharge card, can go online and because they are bored, just say something. And then people around will literally just believe that that gist is true. So when next to hear tea, Either green or raspberry or whatever the tea tastes like, and you're about to spread it. Ask yourself, did I verify this? Would I want this said about me? I'm not the moral police, so because at the end of the day, as I said at the beginning of this video, we all like a good gist. Like I gist with my moms, I gist with my siblings. Do you understand? And we all gist. It's not a big deal. Like it's nothing personal. You know, we say things that are for the fun of it. We laugh like, oh my God, this person's shoes. You see, I don't think they're cute. I think this would be better. Or you know, but then when you now start to determine someone's life from controlled content, there really must be nothing going on in your world. Like for the life of me, I don't understand how you determine if somebody has money off of what they put out there like it's like you do know that it's make-believe right it's like hello anything is doctored like any and every single thing is doctored people let you see whitney houston died before we realized that you know she was kind of not quite okay all those years people blame bobby brown for Whitney's, you know, drug addiction. And because, you see, she, they sold us this image of Preacher's daughter, which we all bought all those years. So when next you want to actually discuss certain issues that you pick up, up online or in your groups, and it's going past, like, just gist, to now slander Ali, because that's what I call it, the streets called slander, you know, of, of emotional torture next to some misery, because that's how it is. Misery people have to live off next to you. Your neighbors are like the devil, his uh, cohort, uh, and all the hell fire that is empty is now on earth. Just remember that it just might not be true. And even if it's true, ask yourself, does this add to the money inside your bank account? If the answer is no, you are in the wrong profession. Imagine all the energy and all the time that you used to discuss somebody else. Imagine if you take that energy and that time and add it to your life. Don't get me wrong, we all like a good gossip. It's not a big deal. We can all gist, yeah? Gist, the neighbors are fighting. What did they say? Ah, he slept with this, he slept with that. But we move on and it's never really that deep. But if you're invested in like, 
you know, opening fake accounts, trying to add somebody's livelihood just off of what you see online. The problem is with you though. And then maybe that's why you're not that successful because successful people don't spend their time trying to figure people out. You know, they're literally just busy trying to cut their own grass because see, eh, the grass is not green on the other side. It's make-believe. It might not even be real grass. Do you understand? But basically, I just wanted to just greet all our Amebo friends. You know, we all have them in our lives. Those friends that without them, we really don't know where we'd be. They always know gist. Everybody needs one of those people in their life that you can always call if you want to just remove your mind off hard things that's go that is happening in your life. Call them. They have everybody's information. Who broke up with who? Who is suffering? Who is the second wife? Who is about to marry a married man? Who is dating a married man? Which married man bought a shoe for? Who married man is sleeping with? How many sisters are these? These that it's like where does it stop? The gist of this is not to stop gisting. It's just that, you know, limit your gist from being slanderous. Like, don't slander people because you can't back up certain things. And sometimes it's jealousy. People are such hypocrites. The things they criticize people for. See, I tell people, live your motherfucking life. So while you're out there trying to castigate somebody, if we come and visit you in the inner caucus of your life, what are we going to find there? Eh? So before you begin to slander somebody, ask yourself, is this still within gist range or have I crossed over to being a coven mother? A coven mother is the mother witch in the witch kingdom. The ones that sit down and drink blood. You know the ones that all her co hosts sit down and say, Mama, we have arrived tonight. These persons we are talking about say, And their face is always like this. You know when they are ready to respond like this? They always know everything. <laughs> Relax your muscles, relax, relax, relax. It's not that deep. It really isn't that deep. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so full of shit, I know. I'll chat with you guys on the next episode of Joker Moments. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. My name is at Tokestar with a double R. I really just like to get down and just, we just every Wednesday, so I'm not in the right position to actually abuse people for gossiping because we gossip on our vlogs just that we gossip about ourselves you know we just talk about like things that these men born of a woman have done to us and things that we women born of a woman have also done to them we just talk about lifestyle stuff it's never that deep so when next you want to talk about somebody ask yourself put your hand on your chest it's a practical example feel your heartbeat and then ask yourself what did this person do to me if the answer is no my dear brother and sister i am the medical doctor let me give you your diagnosis you are suffering from jealousy you are suffering from hating somebody who does not know you exist you sound like a lunatic honest to god you will spit out that bile write that comment share that story everybody else will move on but you still come back to face your ugly motherfucking face in the mirror tell me what do you see after you've said all those things the people are still out there living their lives having a good time while you're there tightening your chest frowning your face how will good things come for you this is a gospel i'm telling you this do you guys like my accent because maybe i have to say it in this way so maybe you can understand stop being a witch it's not really profitable and god don't like ugly god really don't like ugly people you know so you cannot have a ugly soul if your soul is dark and ugly people will stay away from you and then you become lonely and lonely people die alone at your funeral what do you want people to say about you do you want them to say you were a great person or do you want them to say you always had everybody's gossip at my boss central that's my message thank you for watching i talk to you next week off the camera right now thank you thank you very much for coming to my ted talk i hope you understand my language <laughs> I'm not doing vlog anymore. I'm a mess. I'm actually a mess. Who did this to me? Let's go and find the person who did this to me. Let's go and look for the person. I'm sorry. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later.